The weather behind Canada's record-breaking fires, which has destroyed millions of hectares and caused tens of thousands of people to be evacuated from their homes, has been significantly worsened by climate change. That's according to a rapid analysis by a leading team of climate scientists. According to the paper, which has not yet undergone peer review, climate change more than doubled the likelihood of extreme fire weather conditions in eastern Canada between the months of May and July. The researchers also found climate change made the fire-prone weather 20 to 50 per cent more intense. Canada has experienced its warmest May to June period since 1940, beating the previous record set in 1998 by a margin of 0.8 degrees Celsius. Study author Jan Boulanger says it's been a particularly severe fire season. We have now more than 15.3 million hectares that have burned in the whole country of Canada. And the eastern part of the country have been very uh, badly uh, impacted by those wildfires. More than 5 million hectares have burned this year. And so we looked at the fire, well, the fire weather conditions that are, that were driving those, uh, those, those fire this year. So we, we, we look at what, what is the probability of having those uh, very extreme uh, fire weather conditions this year relative to what it would be without any climate change so in a in a in a place or in a climate where uh, the uh, in the pre-industrial era where the earth is uh, approximately 1.2 degrees celsius cooler and what we found is that yes climate change is really involved badly involved i would say in the uh, in the fire fire weather conditions that we have uh, this year this was looking at the fires in Canada from May to July. In British Columbia, there have been fresh fires this week. Is that something that your team will also look at? Uh, I, I, unfortunately, no. We did. Actually, that's pretty difficult to, uh, to look at the whole country at once. But something that we can know for sure is that uh, climate change is also having an impact out west. So you mentioned British Columbia. Uh, previous uh, studies have already shown that fire season there is getting longer, is getting more severe um, because of climate change. Actually, 90 percent of the 2017 fire season in B.C., which was a record at this time, but this record was beaten this year, uh, was caused by, by also climate change. So the fire season is getting longer. Uh, the intensity of fire weather conditions is getting uh, harsher, and those weather uh, fire weather conditions are occurring much more frequently than before. Um, what are the ramifications, do you think, for places like Australia? The World Weather Attribution Initiative, which has conducted this study, also looked at the Black Summer fires in 2019-2020. Um, it found similar findings, but then when it was peer-reviewed, some of those findings were watered down. What are the ramifications for a country like Australia, which does experience bushfires? Well, it means that all, all around the world, actually, the, the vegetation is getting much more fire prone. So you mentioned Australia. That's the case also for South Africa, uh, South America at some point. Europe also has, has uh, seen, experienced a lot of fire activity in the, uh, in the, in the last years or so. So we, we know that uh, because the climate is getting warmer, is getting drier, the fire weather conditions are much, much more intense uh, pretty much everywhere uh, on Earth. And this is actually because of us. So it's, it's uh, because of our greenhouse gas emissions. So it's, it is directly linked to, um, to climate change, to the anthropogenic climate change. Uh, that's the case in Quebec. That's the case in Canada. But that's the case also elsewhere in the world.